Big news this evening then following uh, the Rhinos game against Wigan. Callum Watkins is to uh, depart the club on the 1st of July this year. Now this comes as a big surprise. It was initially announced that Watkins was leaving a few weeks ago at the end of the season with uh, a big discussion on where he would go with Hull KR linked. But it seems Gold Coast Titans have come in for him and he will depart Leeds on the 1st of July. Yeah. Rhinos Chief Executive Gary Everington uh, on the matter has said that it was agreed that Watkins would leave at the end of the season, but because uh, the opportunity has arose for him to take a long deal elsewhere, and especially in, in, in the NRL, they will let him uh, leave early. So, Paul, what do you make of it? Well, it's uh, it just took us all by surprise, doesn't it? I think we, we, we were just doing something else, and I just noticed this news coming through. Um, I think we all knew he was going. I, I, I think on current form, I think we the questions about whether he was good enough for the NRL. Certainly, if before his injury, it was absolutely no question whatsoever. And, and, and as an England fan, I certainly hope he goes over there and, and proves himself because you know we need we need a, a fully fit and firing Callum Watkins lead to lead us towards the next World Cup. Um, so it's, it's quite exciting news to be fair. If you're not a Leeds fan, well, um, I must admit I'm just a bit shocked at the moment. Uh, it, Good luck to him. What else can I say? Really, I really hope it does well. I hope the move goes really well for him. He's a good lad. He's won everything. Everything in. He's won all the domestic honours at Leeds. Uh, he's, he's, he's been a tremendous, tremendous servant for the club. I'm sure they'll get a few quid as well. To, um, sit to go and to find a replacement. Or, or I think they have. I think they have centres at the club, so they might strengthen in other areas. But the, the money will be there now. And uh, yeah, again, all I can say is good luck to the lad. Well, the two questions from this are number one: What does it mean for Leeds? Can they cope without him? And number two, can he uh, succeed in the NRL? Uh, well, as I alluded to before, I think um, he's he had a really bad injury, um, so he, he needs to fully recover from that. And, and if he can get back to his form of, of two years ago, then definitely. Um, obviously, this form of this season, and he will get found out pretty quickly. Um, uh, you know, he has. I think it's a well known fact he hasn't played well for Leeds this year. So I'm sure you know. I'm sure Leeds will move on. And uh, like I say, uh, I think there's a transfer window been extended now. Is that right? So yeah, Leeds yeah. have got time to find. But, I mean, they do, I would imagine this will free up a sizable amount of salary cap. So I, I would surely Leeds are going to go straight back into the market and, and find either like say a replacement for Watkins or all the strength in other areas. Obviously, at the moment, there's Hurrell and Newman in the half. So, yeah. sorry, in the centre. So, do you think they're going to go for a half? Well, I think. Look at the game tonight. I think we just reviewed the game tonight as well. I think um, that that's kind of where you've got to be looking. Um, yeah, it, 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 I mean, if you if you've got a decent, I mean, I think Jackson Hastings obviously spring straight to mind us. I think there's rumours that we're going to be quite confident of landing him, um, but. It's, it, Leeds have got the money now, haven't they? And I, Leeds, I mean, I think Leeds is is need is probably more urgent. So I can see, uh, who knows? I maybe mean, Leeds could try and get him in the next few weeks. Yeah. Just lastly, on Watkins in the NRL now, we've seen Ryan Hall go over there. He's recovering from a long term injury. He's found it difficult in his first few games for the Roosters. But we've discussed this before about. Uh, our talent, our backs mainly going to the NRL and struggling. It's normally our forwards yeah. that succeed yeah. over there. So can Watkins be the almost the first player of the the modern generation to to break that mould? I, I, I hope so. I really do. Like I say, he, he, he has this injury to fully recover from, but the talent certainly there. But I mean, as good as good as English centre as has been in Super League, so the, the talent certainly there. And I mean, it's just. I think this could work out quite well for him. He can he can see out the rest of the season. He can get himself used to the NRL, and he'll have a full pre-season over there. And he, so he won't be starting next season, uh, you know, not knowing what it's all about. He'll know exactly what it's all about. So I think this could work out really well for him, particularly for next season more than this one. So yeah, I think it's really. I think this is quite an exciting move, and this this could work out well for both parties. Well, three parties of the Gold Coast Titans. And like, as I said, all I can say is. It's good luck. I really, I really hope it goes well for him. The last big question, actually, is who will be the new Rhinos captain? Who would you give it to? That's that's that, that's the the on my right arm there. It's, <laughs> it's it's. I'm just looking. I'm just looking through. I'm counting through the side. I mean, obviously, uh, you you probably think Stevie Ward. It, 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 but his, his injuries are. Uh, yeah, uh, he's got to be due. Then you send his due back soon. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe it's Trent Merrin could be the man, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, or obviously Hurrell, but I think you know I think 
Hull seems to be carrying the team at the moment, so I think I think he's probably got enough weight on his shoulders. So I possibly Merrin could be the man, yeah, yeah. or Cuthbertson. I, I think he's led the ladies' team. I think he coaches them, doesn't he? So he has got that uh, leadership kind of experience. But uh, for me, I'd probably say Trent Merrin. Yeah, I would agree. Actually, I was I was going to go with Merrin. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting. Um, Watkins is going. He's going at the at the end of this month to the NRL. Do you think he'll be a success over there? And Leeds fans, what do you make of it? Are you happy? Who would you like to see the club bring in? Who should be the club's new captain? Uh, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell.